Hi there and welcome back to Pierpoint Custom Rod Building and Repair. So in the workshop today what we've got is a Ziplex 2500 LM and the customer wanted the decal replaced because this one's just become a little bit worn. So I'm going to take you through the process um, as to my approach to that. Now of course before you do that you want to make sure that you've got an original Ziplex de decal to put back in its place. So the customer supplied this one so it's yeah, reasonably accurate so you just need to make sure that you've got that on the bench before you take this one off so a couple of things before we start so what i like to do is try and get my rod up in here if i can so i've built a wooden frame out of blocks and g-clamp just to get the rod on a cloth there to protect the rod because that's the customer's pride and joy and it just means that i can turn the rod quite easily without catching the guides on the work bench a couple of items that you'll need is a cloth and I like to have a range of blades so I've got a brand new sharp blade in there it's a Stanley knife and I've also got a single sided blade in this one and I've got the support frame to help me and I've also got a Wilkinson saw double edged blade here. Now when you're using blades you want to be careful because they might be contaminated with oil so use a bit of ISO alcohol just to wipe the blades just to get any, any oil or deposits off that before you start. Okay, you could use a solvent to take this off, but if you use something like acetone, it could also take the, the lacquer and the paint off of the rod. So it's a bit tricky to be able to do that. The easiest way, of course, is just to take the decal off using one of these blades. Now I can see the, the decal just been put on there. It hasn't got any high build or varnish over the top of that. So it should be quite easy. So I like to use this blade because when you see the thickness of those, that's a lot thinner. Okay, and it's a lot easier to work with just want to mind your fingers and then what you want to do is then you just take bits of that away at a, at a time you can't rush this okay it's just going to have to be patience and making sure that you don't actually go into the blank itself and you can see you're just taking that off small shavings at a time now what you're doing is you're taking off the colours basically the red white and blue and you're leaving the glue deposit behind and then we can deal with that a little bit later when we use our ISO or other solvent to just take off the glue okay so if you use this blade it's just a little bit better at taking that off and you can see it's coming off quite nicely okay without damaging the blank and it's a very messy sort of sticky job this okay so you need plenty of space in the workshop and you don't want to be contaminating everything okay so it's just bit by bit and then you just take your time don't try and be over ambitious and scrape it all off at the same time because you'll come unstuck okay it's just bit by bit and don't forget these blades they don't stay sharp for very long so just use different edges if you can but just being extremely careful because they are so sharp one it will nick your fingers but also it, it could nick the blank as well and you don't want to be doing that you don't want to be taking off that protective uh, varnish coat that's already on there okay so labor of love bit by bit okay no easy way i'm afraid okay and uh, you can see straight away that this is just going to take time okay not something that's going to happen in the next two or three minutes okay and the good thing of course is we've got the original decal sitting there waiting to go on once i've removed this i can start to put that on and i probably will put a coat of high build over the top of it because that's probably why this has become a little bit worn and detached because it hasn't had that protective coat put over it okay bit by bit okay, and you can you just see the red line coming off so it's not taken off the lacquer of the blank this is literally just the so-called lettering frame of the decal and 
Okay, so it's a pretty good start. So it's going to take time. And straight away, we've probably got one side of that done already, so it didn't take too long. And it's a case of then just working along. Okay, bit by bit. Always good if you can just pick up an edge somewhere. Get underneath it. And that just gives you an idea. Okay, and then you can see this sort of white cloudy area there, and that's the glue deposit that's underneath. So I'll just use a little bit of ISO just on that. It's not as harsh as acetone, and then if you just rub that, and you can start to see that little gluey deposit just starting to come away. Let's polish that up, and then you can see that you're now down to that nice black shiny blank. So as you can see, we're making progress there. So we've managed to get most of the, the top bit off there. Okay, and then you're just left with that little glue residue there. <coughs> so let's just use a little bit of that ISO out of the way. And then just clean that up a little bit. A bit sticky to start, but it will come off. <clears throat> and that's always a good sign because if you're just left with the glue residue then you know that you haven't actually damaged the blank underneath and it's just a question of making sure that that comes off okay, and it will go eventually it's a case of just being patient it is glue so it does look a little bit horrible to start with but once it goes it comes off quite nicely. Don't forget you're using a flammable liquid here so just be very careful with the so-called naked flames in the area and ignition sources. Okay so that's the first inch taken care of and then you can see that that blank it's just been restored to its former glory, hasn't been damaged or dinked or scratched or scraped. Okay, so it's just a labour of love. And I think the secret there is be patient. This double sided sort of Wilkinson sword type blade, okay, is the piece of equipment that seems to work best. I haven't let loose my standing knife on this. Uh, probably because I'm just a little bit skeptical that the blade is just a bit too thick. Okay, <clears throat> I've just got my new blade. It's going to be extremely sharp. Okay. And that should make a bit of a difference.
and then you want to be careful that you don't take off too much of that shine and too much of that gloss. So here's a process. Let's take time not to be rushed. flash off so a nice shiny blank to work with okay so we're now going to start to prepare ourselves to put the decal on 